Is George Russell a failure? We explore this and much more right here on Is It Fast? We start this week on Is It Fast, powered by 81 Power Drink, with the news that George Russell had a really unlucky weekend at the Sakhir Grand Prix. Russell started from second on the grid, took an early lead over Bottas and led for most of the way. But then a botched pit stop from Mercedes under the safety car meant that Perez zipped in and took his maiden victory. I think we can all agree that George Russell has got a very bright and very successful future ahead of him and I was gutted that he didn't take the win in Bahrain. But tell us in the comments, how did you feel about George Russell's maiden performance in a Mercedes Grand Prix car? <laughs> News from Porsche this week, as they tell us that their all-electric Taycan outsold their Macan SUV in the month of November. That's big news because the Macan, well that's Porsche's biggest seller in the UK. And in fact, they registered over 2,000 new cars in the month of November, and that's more than Citroen and Honda managed during the same period. So tell us in the comments, were you one of those over 2,000 people that bought a Porsche in November? And what do you think of their all electric Taycan? <laughs> This time next week, we are bringing you, right here on Is It Fast, an exclusive interview with one of the first drivers to be confirmed for the 2021 British Touring Car Championship season. So if you are into touring car exclusives and you are a fan of the championship, make sure that you follow and watch Is It Fast. Seven time world champions are like buses. You don't have one for ages and then two come along at once. This week, Sebastian Auger won his seventh World Rally Championship title. Auger won his seventh world title in a Yaris. Good timing for Toyota because, if you didn't know, they've released a little homologation special. He romped to the title, but Toyota will have to wait for the final rounds to find out if they will bring home the Constructors' Championship. Auger won his other titles in a Volkswagen Polo and a Ford Fiesta, and next year makes the jump to Citroen. Will he be an eight-time World Rally Championship title holder? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Christmas is around the corner, the temperatures are dropping, and that means the roads are getting icier. What to do? Well, we release our army of gritters to keep us mobile. This year, Scott Travel have given us one of the best Christmas presents you can imagine. There is an interactive map showing where all the gritters are in Scotland at any one time. Why is this news? Because the Gritters have got amazing names. You've got Mr. Plough, you've got Rumble, and my personal favourite, the Ice Destroyer. Oh yeah. So if you're bored over Christmas and you want to see where your favourite Gritter is in Scotland, well, good news, folks. You can. <laughs> news from Genesis now. Hyundai's Porsche cousin brand. They have told us that they are releasing the new SUV called the GV70. They've given us all sorts of posh fancy words being thrown around like negative white space in the cabin for the GV70. It's got all the lines that you associate with performance more than SUV. But the reality is this. It does look pretty cool. It might be available in the UK, we're yet to find out. But it does have a launch control system. So actually, this might be an SUV where the S does stand for sport. <laughs> Thank you for watching Is It Fast, your weekly roundup of what's been going on in the car and motorsport world. If you've liked what you've watched and you want to keep up with what's been going on, then please do follow us on your social media platform of choice. You will also notice that to my right, there are a couple of cans of 81 Power Drink. They are the power drink that keep the entire crew of Is It Fast going throughout our long and busy days. Please do check them out in the links around this video. Have a wonderful week and catch you next time.